Hi everybody, this is Yamuna, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology. Today we are going to see about the concepts of big data. Today access to data is becoming competitive advantage as today many organization make us to engage in online always. As Tim Barnesley stated, data is a precious thing because they last longer than systems. The digital data in the binary form represents the quantities, characters and symbols where we apply some operations and are stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals. They are stored in a magnetic or an optical recording media. Big data is defined by three ways high volume, high velocity and high variety, which demands a cost effective and innovative form of information processing to have an enhanced insight and helping decision making process. It refers the complex and large data set that have to be processed to uncover valuable information for the benefit of business and other organizations. Big data deals with huge volume of information where it contains data of various type. Normal, traditional database and data mining techniques are unable to process such types of data. Big data are generally classified into three types, structured, unstructured and semi-structured data. The structured data are the flat files normally stored in databases such as MySQL, Oracle, etc. It can be even stored in spreadsheet like Excel or other online transaction processing systems. The data are stored in rows and columns. The data are normally numerical and these data items have some meaningful information that is we have some predefined schema. These data constitutes to the 10% of today's total data and are accessible to database management system. So the examples of structured data include the official registers of government institution to store the information about individuals etc. as like employee database. The unstructured data constitute different formats like text, image, audio, video etc. It may be a document file or it may be a log file. It may contain customer complaints, contracts or other internet email also. This type of data constitutes about 80% of the data created in today's total data. So these unstructured data cannot be stored under a normal traditional relational databases since it contains high variety of data. So we need a special databases such as NoSQL model like MongoDB to store and process these unstructured data. The third type of digital data is semi-structured data and it contains both forms of the data. We can see a semi-structured data as a structured in form but it is actually not defined with it. We need a separate tag to define about the object it contains. It cannot be stored with the normal traditional database systems. The semi-structured data is also referred as self-describing structured data where it contains the schema with the blended data values and the object may have different attributes and these attributes are not known before in hand. We need a separate tag to define its structure. Normally it is an XML or a JavaScript object notation. We can summarize about big data under types. Big data is a high volume, high velocity and high variety information which demands and cost effective and innovative form of information processing for enhanced insight and decision making process. The types of digital data are structured data, unstructured data and semi-structured data where structured data contain a predefined schema whereas unstructured data do not have any fixed schema and require some specialized SQL model to store and process these data. The semi-structured data have a little metadata information where we have an XML or JS1 object to define the object it contains. 
Thank you all. Have a nice day.